Good afternoon, everybody. It looks like we're here, everyone's here, and um, we'll get started. My name is Kara Riggs. I'll be your moderator for today's open house in our discussion about the National Principal Certificate for Equity and Excellence offered in conjunction with NCUST and San Diego State University. We have a few objectives today, as every great educator does, being clear about what they want their audience to know and understand. First, we want to begin by sharing who we are as our team will be beside you along the way if you determine that you'd like to be part of this program, and we hope you will. We'd like to share how our career paths led us to NCUST, what NCUST does, and also get to know you a bit. Additionally, and the reason that you're here, you will leave with some clarity around what is unique about our program, what our program is, and also what it is not. A brief description of the content in each of the five courses you'll be engaged in. And mostly, we want you to leave saying, oh my goodness, this is exactly the direction I want to go to move my school to a place of equity and excellence for all of my students. Just like the high performing schools that NCUST has studied and celebrated for so long. How do I get started is what we hope you'll say. A little bit about me, I'm a proud executive coach with NCUS since 2014. Six years ago, I retired after a 30 year career in the Omaha Public Schools. It was there that I served in various roles, including high school English teacher, assistant principal, middle school principal, and high school principal. It was super exciting and definitely challenging work. Like you know, but I loved every single minute of it, feeling passionate about providing equity and access to the students that I served. All of us on this team have experience in not only moving our own schools, but also in supporting leaders like you, wanting the answers of what it takes to be a high performing school. We are so thrilled that you have joined us to particip participate in this session. We're anxious to provide you with the information you need that will hopefully take you from maybe just a curiosity to an enthusiasm about getting involved. Now I'd like to introduce you to our Executive Director, Dr. Joe Johnson. Hello, my name is Joe Johnson and welcome to this virtual open house for our National Principal Certificate for Equity and Excellence. It's my honor to serve as the founding executive director of the National Center for Urban School Transformation, NCUST. In my 40 plus years as an educator, I've served as a teacher and as an administrator at the school, district, state, and federal level. I've also served as a researcher, professor, dean, university provost and senior vice president. Most importantly, however, throughout the past 25 years, I've had the honor of identifying, studying, and learning from outstanding school and district leaders who have transformed schools into places where all students and all demographic groups of students thrive academically and become empowered to succeed in the world. I am very proud to have assembled a wonderful team of equity-driven educational leaders at NCUST, some of whom are helping lead this virtual open house, including our executive coach, Kara Riggs, who you just met, and our executive coaches, Dr. Stanley Monroe and Dr. Jose Iniquez, who you will get to meet shortly. The year is 2020 and the American dream is on a ventilator. Not the Hollywood dream or the Wall Street dream or even the dream of the big lotto win. I'm talking about the simple American dream that suggests that every child in this nation should have the opportunity, should have access to a quality education that ensures them the capacity to keep learning and growing in this complex 
ever-changing technological environment. The American dream that every child will acquire the academic skills necessary to succeed in a 21st century career that enables them to earn a living wage and gives them the opportunity to own a home and, and raise a family in this country. The American dream that every child will develop knowledge and respect of both themselves and others, all others, so they can contribute to a strong and healthy community in their neighborhood, in their nation, in this world. This American dream is on life support. Now, some folks would like us to believe that the American dream is alive and well. They accurately notice that many American children are succeeding, but they ignore the huge piles of data that make it all too easy to predict which of our children will succeed on almost any indicator of success. One only needs to know five variables, race and ethnicity, family income, language background, gender, and zip code. We cannot pretend that the American dream is healthy when so much evidence suggests that success in our nation is predetermined for millions of children. Now, the flip side is that some would have us believe that the American dream is already dead and gone. Well, I know better. And we at INCUST know better because we have felt the pulse of the American dream in schools only a few miles from our office here in San Diego. In, in phenomenal schools in some of Florida's urban centers, in amazing schools in the heartland, in, in, in Missouri. We've been inspired by outstanding educators in some of the toughest communities in New York City. We have felt the powerful heartbeat of the American dream on the US-Mexico border in Brownsville, Texas, Chula Vista, California, and El Paso, Texas. In 167 schools in 25 states and the District of Columbia, we have seen schools that are changing the trajectory of lives and changing the trajectory of communities. Schools where Black students are learning that their academic potential is unlimited, where Latinx students are finding that they're being prepared not just to get into college, but to succeed in college and succeed in life, where students from low-income families are learning that their family's poverty is just a prelude to their success stories the National Center for Urban School Transformation exists because there is no neutral place in this nation. Either we are part of the solution or we are part of the problem. Either we are part of the virus that fills this nation's lungs or we are part of the vaccine that brings hope for a better tomorrow. Either we are part of the weight of the knee on George Floyd's neck, or we are part of the Liberation Army that transforms institutions into beacons of justice. Ibram Kendi explained, there is no neutrality in the racism struggle. The opposite of racist isn't not racist. 
The opposite is anti-racist. Incust exists because we are committed to helping leaders transform educational systems so their schools become anti-racist, so their schools become beacons of justice, beacons of hope for every child they serve. We want to see the 167 schools we've awarded grow even stronger in ways that ensure the success of the diverse groups of students they serve, but just as well. We want to see the results generated by those 167 schools become the norm in America so that neither race nor family income, nor language background, nor gender, nor zip code can predict academic success. We have established this National Principal Certificate for Equity and Excellence because we believe that school leaders have tremendous influence in the transformation of schools. This certificate is only available to individuals who are currently serving as school administrators. Now they may have a variety of titles like principal or assistant principal or school director. However, they must have administrative responsibility for school. Now this certificate is not a credential, it's not a license. In contrast, this certificate is a symbol of accomplishment. It's an indication that you have generated real, measurable, concrete evidence of movement toward equity and excellence. Just as National Board teacher certification is an indication that someone is an accomplished teacher, this certification is an indication that the holder is an accomplished school leader who has brought about significant change in the school they lead. The certificate specifies equity and excellence because we believe the concepts are inextricably linked. Equity without excellence is just mediocrity. And excellence without equity is an oxymoron because truly excellent schools are excellent for all the children they enroll. So if this certificate is a true symbol of accomplishment, it must be earned. Taking courses isn't enough. Writing papers isn't enough. Sitting through lectures isn't enough. Nobody earns this certificate unless they're able to demonstrate that they have influenced real and significant improvements in outcomes for children, particularly diverse populations of children. So if you choose to enter into this program, and we hope you do, we will work with you to examine the current data from the school you lead, and we will help you develop a proposal that specifies how your data will change in ways that model both equity and excellence. We will help you develop a, pro a proposal that is clear, objective, and fair. And if you accomplish the change you specify, you will earn the certificate. If you do not accomplish the change you specify, we will stand beside you. We will demonstrate our willingness to continue supporting you 
but you will not earn the certificate until you accomplish the outcomes specified in your proposal. When you earn the certificate, people will know, we will know, and most importantly, you will know that you are an equity-driven leader. You will have demonstrated that you possess the knowledge, skills, and dispositions necessary to be a true champion for equity and excellence. We will proudly hold you up as a keeper of the dream, the American dream. We want, however, to do more than challenge you. We want to support you. We want to help you succeed. And we're good. We've worked with leaders in multiple states to help them strengthen their schools and districts. And we are proud of the supporting role we've played in influencing impressive gains in learning outcomes for diverse populations of students. Yet we are thrilled mostly as we see the profound differences leaders are making in the lives of the children and the communities they serve. In this program, we will help you by providing excellent classes that help you envision real equity and excellence in your school and help you work with teachers, support staff, parents, district leaders, and community leaders to help your vision come to life. We will provide you with quality one-on-one -on -one coaching from our team of impressive executive coaches. As well, you will have tremendous opportunities to engage with school leaders who have achieved stunning successes in schools with substantial challenges. And finally, we will provide you with great opportunities to engage with the cohort of other equity-driven leaders who are striving to accomplish changes similar to the changes you seek to engender. All of this, the courses, the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the interactions with leaders from award-winning schools and school districts, the interactions with leaders from your cohort, all of this is tailored to help you successfully implement your proposal and accelerate movement toward equity and excellence in the school you lead. I am so very proud of our center. In our short 15 years, we've done many good things, but quite frankly, I am most excited about our new professional certificate programs. This is our opportunity to reach out in a scalable way and provide a quantity and quality of support that can help energetic, committed leaders breathe new life into the American dream. We look forward to rolling our sleeves all the way up to help you help your school excel. Thank you for seriously considering the opportunity to work with us and strengthen your capacity to be keepers of the dream, the American dream. We look forward to your success. Now I will turn to my outstanding colleagues, Kara Riggs, Dr. Stanley Monroe, and Dr. Jose Iniguez, who will introduce themselves and provide more important details about this unique program. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. We are so grateful to work with such a visionary leader. Joe is indeed the architect of this program. And when he shared his vision with us, our team was elated to jump on board with the planning of what ultimately has us so excited about the outcomes that will be achieved by our participants.
Let me be honest with you, as a former principal, I think back at what so often seemed like daunting tasks of putting everything I knew and some things I didn't know together to create transformation in my own schools. This is the type of program I needed back then to help me get focused and stay focused on those things we've learned to be the drivers of what great leaders in the high performing schools that we study do to ensure equity and excellence in their own schools. What's the phrase, if only I knew then what I know now? Let's have you meet the rest of our team. Stanley? Thank you, Kara. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm a lifelong learner with over 17 years in education as a teacher, math coach, administrator, and superintendent. Uh, my career calling has been to promote and ensure equity and excellence. And I've implemented programs including AVID, Project Lead the Way, Gear Up, as well as an associate degree in six different areas, um, including nursing, education, early childhood education, culinary arts, business, automotive technology. And see, this allows um, students to complete their first year, two years of college for free while equipping them with the 21st century skills that higher education requires and the global workforce will demand. I also ensured that all students were equitably enrolled in AP classes. It is an honor uh, to work with NCUSP under the leadership of Dr. Johnson. He truly is a visionary leader focused on equity and excellence. I had the privilege of conducting um, NCUSP visits uh, where I witnessed firsthand the support provided to principals and schools. Therefore, I knew I wanted to be a part of this support network where equity and excellence were at the very core of why I chose NCUSP as my next step professionally. And uh, thank you um, for being a part today. And now my colleague, Jose. Thanks, Dan. Hi, everyone. Uh, as mentioned, my name is Jose Niguez. I'm passionate about equity and excellence because more than anything, I know it's value firsthand, as I'm sure many of you do. My parents immigrated to this country with little more than a third grade education and were simply unable to advocate for the educational needs of their kids. I know what it's like to have a high school counselor replace my requested AP classes with vocational classes despite my protests. I know what it's like to work three jobs simultaneously in high school only to have several teachers call me lazy or disengaged or disinterested. But most importantly, I also know what it's like to have a couple of teachers take an interest in me, my struggles, and to motivate me to attend college. The care and support demonstrated by a few of my teachers changed my life. I wouldn't be here today if not for them. And I am driven about doing the same thing for others. This is the fire that has burned in my belly throughout my professional career as a social studies educator social justice educator, high school principal, district director, assistant superintendent. I also currently serve as chair of the California Instructional Quality Commission. I've worked in the largest and smallest of districts throughout California. I've worked in urban and rural communities, as well as affluent and impoverished communities. In each of these roles, I've championed equity and excellence. But more than that, I've learned how each of these roles may be leveraged to facilitate equity, equity and excellence. I love working at IMCUS because our family here, and it really is a family, shares my passion and most importantly, sense of urgency to help all students realize the American dream. But enough about me, enough about us. I think we want to hear more about what lights your fire. So I'm going to turn it back over to Kara. Thank you. Thank you, my friends, Jose and Stanley. Um, mm -hmm. Stan, or Jose is right. Let's, that's enough about us and let's hear about you. I, I see little boxes with faces of two really outstanding leaders that have had prior involvement in another NCUST initiative of ours, the A plus program. And they've joined us today, Cindy Garetas and John Mitchum. They're both from Aroma Land School District. Cindy, can I pick on you to start? 
please? Can you begin, Cindy, by telling us just a little bit about yourself, your connection to NCUST, and why you're interested in hearing more about this certificate? I'm Cindy Garretis. I am principal currently at Mesa View Elementary School, and I'm this is my fourth year as the principal there. Um, and we began our journey with NCUS through the um, A-plus cohort with Roma Land School District. And um, I just have really enjoyed the opportunity. I always call it, it's like our principal PLC. You know, we tell our teachers how essential the PLC is and how it's important to talk about your practices and talk about your data. And in our process through the A-plus uh, cohort with NCUST, it really provided us that opportunity as principals because we do get so much on our plate and we get tasked, um, as all administrators know, with many things. Working with NCUS really gave us a targeted uh, time and opportunity for us as principals to work collaboratively together and to talk about our data and to help provide some reflections for each other. And what I always appreciated is, um, I always say that I'm you know, a, a nerd about research and I love that NCUS always set that framework for us. So um, again, because I love to read any, anything about schools, um, the foundation of every cohort meeting started with, you know, some research to kind of ground our conversation and keep us reflecting as administrators. Um, and then the opportunity to visit the high achieving and the transformational schools has just been hugely inspirational. And I appreciate NCUS has done that work for us. They've found the great schools that we can go and visit and also ensure that when we're there, we are gaining some insight, some growth for us to take back to our school sites, which is really essential. Um, my interest in, in this current opportunity with the Equity and Excellence uh, Certificate is really um, because my school is uh, predominantly in a uh, very affluent area. Um, and my personal frustration in my fourth year there is I see that there is the inequity, although the scores may look good and, um, you know, we may be deemed as, you know, excellent doing well academically. There are inequities across the campus that I see every day that I really want to tackle and take on. Um, just over 100 African American students on my campus and that is something that is screaming for attention and so I know that I need to know, grow my skill set in order to better um, support my students so I'm excited about this opportunity. I'm John Mitchum, I'm the principal uh, at Boulder Ridge Elementary School and like um, Kara said it's in Roma Land uh, and we were privileged enough and I say privileged and I genuinely mean that um, to be able to work with NCUST. Um, I think we did three or four years um, I had just transitioned um, into a brand new principal and so for me that opportunity to have the coaching and the support in regards to number one like how important the job of a principal really is in regards to leading change especially um, social justice change and as a white male principal um, trying to do that work alone was a little daunting um, and so to have the support of NCUST um, to talk and be able to, as a community, come together and really, really just um, talk about systems that we could put in place um, at our own individual schools uh, to help elicit some of that change um, was something that I think definitely got me through um, those first few years as a principal um, and continues to really drive my passion for, um, for this kind of change. Um, so I'm super interested in this certificate um, number one, because I want to work with NCUS. Um, it's a fantastic program and um, we have been able to spend some time with some of the other schools at um, some of the NCUS conferences, hear from them. Um, but, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, that desire to make lasting change um, for our kids. Um, I get to work with the little ones, um, you know, this is my 11th year in education to see the state of education and how it is, it is changing for the better in regards to, you know, the power that we have as administrators to elicit really positive change. Um, and so I'm just super excited to hear more about, about this and, and really to spend some more time with NCUST. I'll turn over the, um, the mic right now to Stan, who will talk about what the certificate program looks like and feels like. Thank you, Kara. Given that you've taken the time to be with us today, um, you must be curious about 
what the program entails. The program uh, focuses on how you can immediately implement equity and excellence within your school site. The program is about action, it is results oriented. Um, it's practical, um, real world experiences is what um, we're looking for. You will complete a project that is specific to your school and the mission, the vision, the values. Um, it should be measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. Essentially, um, you will demonstrate how you've moved the needle to promote equity and excellence at your school. Um, you will receive unrivaled support to ensure completion and success. You'll complete it um, pretty much entirely um, virtually. Um, it will be interactive with both executive coaches and cohort members. We'll also schedule visits to award-winning schools. Um, there's gonna be a network of support both during, and a key point is after completing the program. There'll also be one-to-one -one coaching from executive coaches, including those here today. And um, I'd like to thank you um, for being here once again, and um, I'll now turn over the presentation to my colleague, Jose. Hi again, everyone. As you know, we're a research institution. Um, this was mentioned several times during the presentation. Through our research of high-performing urban schools across the entire country, not just here in California, we've identified three pervasive empowering characteristics listed on the slide. Let's take a quick look. Transformational culture, or positive transformational culture to be exact, is the foundation of equity and excellence. Students will simply not engage if they don't believe that staff cares about them or don't see them as capable. Like the saying goes, I don't care what you know until I know that you care about me. Depending on the current school culture, a champion of equity and excellence may need help or rather may need to help this, your staff believe positive change is possible and why it's beneficial. Challenging curricula speaks to helping students understand and master skills, concepts, and content. This can't be accomplished simply by covering the scope and sequence or even the textbook. What's more, this involves rigor, not difficulty. There is a difference. Effective instruction which is the last bullet point there, refers to planning instruction for the needs and interests of all of your students. This includes planning for timely and appropriate scaffolding or support to help all students engage in the lesson. This approach is much different than administering isolated remediation to a group of students while others move ahead. That only perpetuates the gaps that already exist. However, I do wanna say, Mastering these benchmarks that I've just list that I've just explained here is not easy. We're not going to lie about that. It takes a while. It requires a structured commitment. However, as we keep saying, if you participate in a program, everything that we do in this program, from readings to discussions to you name it, is structured in such a way that we'll immerse you in an experience that increases your capacity to affect equity and excellence. So it's not as if we're gonna leave you on an island. Now, let's take a quick or closer look, I should say, at the logistics of the courses. Thanks, Jose. Um, now that you have a better feel for the foundation of the work, let's do focus on a few of those log logistics that you may be wondering about. Um, our program is housed with San Diego State University, and thus we will use the Canvas Learning Management System to house our readings, the leadership tasks that you'll be involved in, and the host of our, our uh, classes and our network discussions. The program consists of both asynchronous and synchronous components that you will just love. The year-long program, as, as we've said, is split into five courses. They're all listed on our website and will take you approximately one year to complete. But overall, I want you to know that the content of the five courses captures all of the practices, the values, the systems, the structures, 
the campus and classroom culture, the leadership challenges, and all of the consistent practices that we see and find in every single one of those high-performing schools that we celebrate. The courses provide you with the guidance and the support around implementation of those components that lead to outstanding outcomes for your students. Not some of your students, but all of your students. The key feature, that implementation part of this program, is the equity focused project that you will complete within your school site throughout the year. It's the most important outcome you will achieve upon completion as it will result in evidence of positive results towards your project goal around equity. Of course, your assigned executive coach will support you all along the way with one-on-one -on -one coaching. We also understand, we've been there, that you have hectic schedules. With this in mind, it may be possible that the completion of your project will take longer than the courses. If this happens, no big deal. It's simply a matter of collaborating with your executive coach to complete the program with a bit of an extension. The cost of the entire program, all five courses, is $9,975 and may be paid up front or per course. Participants can pay for one course at a time at the cost of $2,095. And there's a bit of a discount then to pay up front. <clears throat> Jose, can you elaborate a bit on the significance and the true value of this certification? Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, as Dr. John Johnson has pointed out at the beginning of the presentation, I want to reiterate a few points. Just as an equitable and excellent education for students is measured through outcome-based metrics, so is our program. That is, you can complete the tasks within our program, including assignments and classes, but this alone is not going to earn you that certificate. To earn the program certificate, you must satisfactorily complete a cumulative outcome-based project that demonstrates you have affected measurable equity and excellence in your school for all students. However, as we've been saying throughout the presentation, everything that you do in this program, everything that we do in this program is designed to incrementally support you and to improve your capacities to successfully complete this outcome-based project. Earning this certificate is evidence that you have passed the litmus test as a champion of equity and excellence, that you are a school leader that has the knowledge, skills, and demonstrated success to make an authentic and measurable change at your school focused on equity and excellence for all students. The importance of a skill and experience champion of equity is evidenced in the increased number of related positions that districts are advertising. Similarly, your ability to affect improvement in equity and excellence at your district or charter will increase if you enroll in a program with a district level colleague. A district level colleague can simultaneously enroll in our parallel certificate program for district leaders. Think of the impact that you can make as a team. What are the next steps? It's easy. Go to our website at ncast.com and follow the simple prompts to get yourself registered before September 14. The course begins October 14. We'd also um, like you, as Jose mentioned, to consider either doing this program with a colleague or um, talking to one of your district colleagues to do our um, program for district leadership that he mentioned. There's a quote that I love that I think reflects what this program will do for you. And it goes, do what you love to do and do it so well that those who come to see you do it will bring others to watch you do it again and again and again. We believe this will be you as you complete this program with success in your school. People will run to you and want to know what you've done to get such significant results for your students. Thank you for your time today, and I'm going to now turn it over to Dr. Johnson to close us out. Thank you, Kara, and thank you to uh, my wonderful team of NCUST executive coaches 
for organizing this event for us today. But I also want to especially thank uh, Cindy and John, and I want to thank all the folks who will listen to the recorded version of this. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not looking to work with thousands of principals. We're looking forward to working with a cohort of courageous school leaders who are determined to advance equity and excellence in their schools. If you happen to be such a leader, we are eager to continue talking with you, answering your questions, and supporting you in making the American dream come to life for the students that you have the privilege to serve. Thanks for taking the time to consider this opportunity. Stay healthy. Best wishes. Bye.